In today's tutorial, we'll be creating this 3D animated stroke using After Effects without any plugins. You can use this to create all kinds of logo animations or even text layers. First of all, we need a shape layer in order to animate it like a stroke. So if you've got a logo in an AI format like this one, let me just turn the background off here. So it's just a vector file and all I have to do is right click, create and create shapes from vector layer. and just like that, I've got my shape layer ready to animate. But in case you only have an image like this one here, all you have to do is go into layer, auto trace, and make sure it's set to alpha in case it's a PNG. Click on OK, and we've got these masks created around our logo. But sadly, we cannot just turn it into a shape without using some sort of script. So what we need to do is right click, new shape. And under our shape layer, we'll go into add and add a new path, expand it, and if I go into M here under my logo we just auto-traced, I need to copy path number one here by selecting it from our mask and pasting it onto this path right here. So just like that we are making a shape layer, but the only downside here is we have to go one by one, so mask two here, I have to copy this path, create a new path, and then paste it over here and so on. So this is the tricky part in working with just an image. So if you do have an AI file, it's best working with one. So let's go ahead and start animating this shape layer. Let me scale this up a bit here, so maybe 120. And what you wanna do is give it a stroke. So we'll go into the context here, and under each group, we're gonna disable the fill layer. So I'll expand them quickly and just disable them all. So once you've done that, you're not gonna see anything because we don't have any fill or stroke. So to fix this, we're gonna go into add and select stroke. And let me just turn back the background here and we can see the outline of our logo. So now just like any shape layer, we can go ahead and add a new trim path. And if we set the end here from zero, let me set a keyframe, go to about five seconds and set it to hundred. We've got this basic trim path animation, which is commonly used for all kinds of logos or text. So now let's go ahead and actually make this a 3D layer and turn it into a 3D animation. In order to do this, we're gonna go into our main composition here, right click it and go into composition settings. And under 3D renderer, you wanna make sure you have the advanced 3D selected instead of the classic 3D. So here it tells you what it enables and what it disables. Click on OK and we can start turning this shape layer into a 3D layer. So now if I go into my rotation, let me just disable the mask. You can see that we've got a 3D layer. And if we go down here, we've got a new option called geometry options, which basically gives us these extrusion depth parameters and we can extrude all kinds of shapes. As you can see, it's in 3D. So let me set this to about 20 and set the position back to zero here. Let's collapse this and actually create a camera since we are in 3D space now. And I'll split my camera here on the curse of four seconds. So I'm holding down control shift D and that splits our camera. I'll go into the position of this second camera, set a keyframe for it, and I'll just create a short zoom out towards the end of our scene. And on this camera, I'm gonna select P Hold down shift and select A to bring up these two and also hit R to bring up the rotation. So let's just go about here and by holding down Alt and selecting our camera tool, I can use my mouse to navigate around this. So I'll just go ahead and go here, maybe give it some Z rotation, change the angle like so, and we're gonna set a keyframe for these drag them over here. Let's go to the end of this camera and we're just gonna go sort of over this logo like so and give it some Z rotation, maybe a bit of the X as well. So obviously you're gonna animate this however you want to, but you can see we created a camera going over the stroke and a final reveal with this slide zoom out. Let's go to about here and start designing how our stroke can look. So you can go with flat colors like this one, or you can go into the settings here, and we have something called material options, expand it, and here we can set the shininess to maybe 60, and maybe the intensity to 70, 
lowered the metallic one to about 80 and you can see we're getting some metallic look here you can play with this however you want to depending on what you want to achieve i also recently created a tutorial creating reflective type of text if you want to go ahead and check it out it's going to be a bit more in depth on how to create it so give it a go right going back to our main scene here let's create a new solid for our background and i'm going to make it a bit brighter kind of grayish and hit ok let's turn it into a 3d layer and we want to drag it behind our shape so about here let me put this down here as well and just so we don't have any black outlines let's make the background a bit bigger so 125 should cover it all and we can go ahead and start adding a light again you can go ahead and watch my other tutorial where i explain how to do this a bit more in depth so i'm going to create a new light here and change it to environment i'll keep these settings for now and just like that it gives us kind of a nice light here maybe increase it just a bit about 80 and i can also go ahead and duplicate my original shape layer and disable my stroke so i'll go into my contents and just disable the stroke and trim path and we can add a fill and we can change the color here so whatever you want to obviously this is up to you and we can go t for opacity and about here i'm going to set it from 0 to 100 so once the stroke animation is complete we have the shape fully revealing the outlines and again we can go in here and control our material and how it looks so if you want it more or less shiny this is completely up to you all right this is it for this tutorial hope you find this useful Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.